there we go welcome back it's been a kind of crazy couple of weeks and i thought it might be worthwhile to do a little summary update on gameplay intentions gameplay is currently happening what posts are coming up in the next couple of weeks or months as the case might be so you can kind of get a feel for things uh, I, I noticed the other day someone uh, who's a, a blogger of the written word versus video was sort of posting uh, summaries of all their activity for the week that's kind of consolidated all the posts into one place I think that was kind of a cool idea and I, and I might I might start doing that I don't know if I will or not because it's just more stuff right more things to do because uh, you know you got to like put a little paragraph what's this post about yada 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 all color commentary and less gameplay so maybe we won't worry about that so anyway let's let's talk about what's what's going on and I've got my little list here so you have to pardon me while because I changed positions because you don't want to see the laundry that's right over to my right uh, let's see gameplay happening right this moment Hexasim Austerlitz posts uh, still happening Kind of a hiatus in the gameplay there i'm waiting for my opponent to come back to me making sure he's covid free and not sick and all that so i'm not no pressure no problem if you are sick by the way bro uh, get well <clears throat> got a long running out uh, ongoing dac 2 campaign i think it's the race for the wire is the scenario we're playing we're deep into the back end of july 1941 uh, there's lots of to and fro going on in classic OCS style. Turns are going fast. Uh, so there's, you know, uh, stretched supply lines for both forces. Tobruk is, uh, has been invested and uh, there's counterattacks going on and all sorts of good times. So I'm hoping to get some more posts about that gameplay done. I'm well behind on all of that. Uh, I just started, I'm on turn three of an opposed vassal by play by email. Unfortunately, uh, I just, I don't have the time to get a line at the moment. Uh, but I'm going to try and make time so I can play face-to-face uh, -face opposed with my friend, my new friend, Craig, uh, who also has an Instagram uh, channel uh, that's pretty cool. I think it's called Thousand on One Eyes. You should check it out. Take some great photographs. Uh, so he and I are playing um, Mark Herman's Waterloo 1815, and that's going along quite well. I unfortunately i keep making mistakes and he probably thinks i'm an idiot but it's facile like to have a hard time paying attention i will be starting to post not my gameplay but a couple of guys online uh, are just racing through due to uh, uh house arrest issues uh the uh, uh gb2 case blue ocs campaign they're on turn five or six now I'll be starting to release their after action report. If you haven't already seen it, I'm gonna be reposting that starting late June. And then that will give me, you know, 10 or 12 turns and I can share a turn a week and we can just kind of follow all the story along and they're doing a great job with all the, all the content, it's fantastic. So that brings me to what am I playing on my, on the physical, in the physical world and what, what uh, am I posting about in the next two, three weeks? So uh, you may have seen a couple of little posts about great campaigns in the American Civil War. I've got the Atlanta is ours module out. We're playing the advanced rules and stuff. Probably a big mistake on my part in terms of trying to play a, a larger campaign as the first module to pick because of the uh, some of the little nuances in the way the rules are written for the advanced game. A little, little tricky, but I've got a post coming out next Wednesday about those issues that I'm having. And that will be a, a video, so you've got to see that in video or on the blog. And then uh, there's a, some uh, combat examples coming out for that uh, next Thursday. There'll be some more Austerlitz stuff on next Thursday as well and Friday. And then on 6th of June, D-Day, we will be uh, doing a uh, playthrough, shared playthrough of... Uh, Battle for Normandy's Omaha beach landings to on, uh, commemorate the, the day and more Rising Eagles action will come on out. I've got uh, a replay of East Front 2 coming out in uh, two weeks along with um, a write-up by someone who, who uh, agreed to share their post with me on Decision Iraq from Modern Warfare. 
uh, Modern War magazine, the s and SBI, DG, whatever magazine. Um, just a full gallery of all my gameplay from Monte Lamar, from the CSS system. Didn't really ride up the battle too much because we, 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 uh, we only got like a day and a half into it or something like that. We realized we kind of we kind of shot out wide as the uh, as the Germans and, and messed up pretty badly. So uh, my bad ta tactics there. Then a full multi-part uh, Battle for Normandy campaign playthrough without a lot of commentary, just kind of image galleries. I played it so long ago, I've kind of forgotten what happened, uh, but I've got some commentary in there at appropriate places so you can understand what's going on a little bit. Uh, then some more, by then we will have one, two, three, four more videos on Atlanta is ours that will come out in July. A Frozen Hell TCS will be out as well. I have a full uh, replay of the campaign on that. There'll be just two major posts and two videos will kind of encompass the, the full uh, gamut of the gameplay. Such a great system, love that system. Just do yourselves a favor. You know, I tell you what, do, do MMP a favor. Go buy their little Ziploc uh, battle uh, that's currently sort of brand new and about to come out. Go buy that TCS module. Do them a favor and help them realize that TCS is awesome and they need to make more of it and put that shit in a box for us uh, and support that uh, company and that game system because it's awesome. Uh, I, I had a great time with the Frozen Hell. And that's about it. So that's what's going on. Uh, that doesn't mean stuff won't change because, hey, <laughs> I had bunny rabbits happen. So uh, talk to you soon. Thought I'd give you a quick little update and hope everybody is uh, having fun and rolling dice. Ciao.